In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the um, advanced filtering capabilities of Excel. Uh, everything that has to do with filtering, this is basically a database kind of uh, feature, so uh, it's all on the data tab here. Um, the auto filter uh, is the easiest way to do filtering, but um, and you can probably do most of the filtering you want to do with auto filter. But uh, there are some things that auto filter cannot do. If you need something a little more complicated uh, when applying your filtering rules, uh, you need to use the advanced filter. So, um, in order to use the advanced filter, you need to set up what's called a criteria range. And I'm going to select uh, a little bit of space up here at the top of my spreadsheet. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert some blank rows up here at the top and uh, what we need is we need to set up something called a criteria range and a criteria range is an area that has the rules for filtering your data and uh, we're going to copy this uh, copy and we're going to uh, paste it in um, so you need to set up a separate criteria range. The criteria range needs to have the same column headings as your actual data does. And the smart way to do this is just copy the existing headings and paste them in. Uh, and the reason you want to do that is uh, if you make a small mistake typing in these headings instead of copying them and pasting them, uh, the headings are not going to match. For example, uh, if down here when the person created the, the file in the first place if they put first name and then a space after the letter E and you went up here and typed in first name but you didn't type space then those are considered two different column headings and you're not going to be able to filter on the first name column like you want to so uh, to avoid those kinds of problems um, smart thing to do is just take the original column headings here copy them and paste them you can paste them any place you want to on the spreadsheet um, I don't paste them over here on the side though because uh, if I paste them in and put a rule down below uh, and then I do the filtering, uh, my rule is probably going to, some of the uh, lines in the rule are probably going to get uh, not deleted but, but hidden uh, when the filter is applied. And so I'd like to be able to see all of the rules and if I put them up here I don't have to worry about any of these rows collapsing when I apply the filter. So we have a data range down here. We have a criteria range up here that consists of the column headings and then as many lines below as we need to put in our rules. And once you've done that, um, if you want to put in a rule for first name, you put the values down here under first name. Same thing for last name, major. We're going to do a filter on major. And I know that one of my major values is BUAD. And um, Excel is not case sensitive, so I didn't have to type that in caps. but it, uh, that's the way it appears down here so I did it but it really doesn't make any difference um, so what I'm saying here is uh, if the major has this value in the major column then show me that record and if it does not have that value there then do not show me the record so this is my criteria range up here and specifically right now this is the only thing that really matters for the criteria range if you don't put anything under these other columns then it it's basically the same as not applying any rule to those columns at all. So uh, let's go ahead and, and get this started now. Um, the easy way to do this is start off with the cursor in the data range down here and then go click on your data tab in the sort and filter group click on advanced. And you notice it scrolled up a little bit for me and because the cursor was auto in the data it automatically selected the correct data for me so that's kind of nice. I don't have to select it. And then it wants to know what's the criteria range. Well, the criteria range, like I said, I, I could have done all of this, um, but it's not really necessary. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here and I'm going to delete that. And the only part that I really need for the criteria range this time is those two cells. And you've also got an option here. You can copy the um, filtered records to another location. Um, most of the time I think you're probably just going to filter in place unless what you want to do is you want to take this data and you want to export it someplace else for some further work. Uh, but if all you're interested in is just seeing the results here, uh, it probably just makes sense to filter in place. There's also a checkbox here if it's possible that you would have um, more than one record with the same value in it uh, and you may only want to see one of those. Uh, that doesn't happen very often. Uh, with a true database it, it uh, really shouldn't happen at all. Uh, but 
that's another option as well. So tell it what the list range is, tell it what the criteria range is, and then click on OK. And there it is. I've got all of my business majors right there. And again, just like when you're doing an auto filter, uh, it'll go over here and it will change those numbers to blue. And you also see there's some gaps in the numbers. So that's how you know that a filter's been applied. Okay. Uh, if you want to turn it off, just go back up here to clear. And now we're back to where we were before. If you want to add more rules, let's say I want the accounting students. And all I have to do is add another value down here. Don't put it in the same cell. Uh, if you put it in the same cell, it's going to look for somebody that has BUAD and ACCT in the same cell, just like you would have it here. So let's apply this rule. And let's go to uh, Advanced. And uh, now the data range is the same. The criteria range this time is going to be different. If I click on this, uh, right now it's C1 to C2. And, and unfortunately, it doesn't put a dancing line around this stuff. Uh, but I'm going to reselect my criteria range to include accounting now. Um, go back to my uh, dialog box here and click on OK. And now what I'm getting are just the business majors and the accounting majors. And this is the way that Excel applies an advanced filter. Basically every row here is considered as one rule. So what I'm saying is I don't care what the first name is, I don't care what the last name is because I left those empty. But the major must be business. I don't care what these other three fields are. So if the major is BUAD, it will show the record. So that's basically one rule. And this is a second rule. And Excel interprets it as if these two rules are connected by the word OR. So if the major is BUAD or if the major is ACCT, then select the record. So everything that's on the same row, uh, you know, if we had multiple rules in here, it would be as if those were connected by the word AND. All of them would have to be true in order for the record to be selected. If they're on different rows, it's as if the data be between the two different rows, the rules between the two different rows are connected by the word OR. So either this rule will be true or this rule will be true. Although in this case, I just had one cell selected. So either this rule will be true or this rule will be true. And if I want to add yet another major, Let's add HRM to that. And let's go down here and let's clear our filter. And let's turn an advanced filter back on again. Uh, again, because I start out with the cursor in the data, it selected the data for me correctly, the data range. And now I've got to tell it where the rule is. And that's the rule. Click on my little red button here. And click on OK. And now I've got uh, business, accounting, and HRM majors. So, if the major is BUAD, select it. If not, check to see if it's accounting. If it is selected, if not, check to see if it's HRM. If it is selected, if not, go on to the next record and apply these th three rules all over again. So that's how you do simple um, equality uh, type rules using an advanced filter. And in the next video, we're going to take a look at uh, looking at some inequalities and some um, more interesting conditions.